Picture a place where happiness is a measure of prosperity, not wealth. Welcome to Bhutan, the happiest country in the world. Nestled in the eastern Himalayas between China and India, lies the kingdom of Bhutan, a tiny nation home to approximately 800,000 people. Bhutan is a unique blend of the ancient and modern world. But what truly sets Bhutan apart from the rest of the world is its philosophy of measuring success. While most nations focus on gross domestic product, Bhutan has a different approach. Here, they measure the gross national happiness. Yes, you heard it right, happiness. Bhutanese believe that happiness is a more meaningful measure of human well-being than economic indicators like GDP. Introduced in the 1970s by the fourth king of Bhutan, the concept of gross national happiness is rooted in the belief that material wealth does not necessarily lead to happiness. It's a revolutionary concept, one that prioritizes the well-being of its citizens over economic output. The gross national happiness index gives equal importance to non-economic aspects of well-being, such as education, health, psychological well-being, time use, cultural diversity and resilience, good governance, community vitality, and ecological diversity. Bhutan's focus on happiness over economic gain isn't just lip service. It's woven into their national policies, from education to agriculture, from healthcare to urban planning. Every policy decision in Bhutan has to pass a GNH filter to ensure it contributes to the citizens' happiness. In Bhutan, the pursuit of happiness is not just an ideal, but a way of life. It's a place where the people, the government, and the king himself believe that happiness is the true measure of a nation's success. So as we embark on this journey to the happiest country in the world, prepare yourself to be fascinated by a nation where happiness is not just a fleeting emotion, but a way of life ingrained in every aspect of their existence. In Bhutan, the pursuit of happiness is not just an ideal, but a way of life. Bhutanese culture is a vibrant tapestry woven with tradition, spirituality, and respect for nature. This profound truth is reflected in every aspect of life in Bhutan, a country nestled in the eastern Himalayas. Let's begin this cultural journey with their traditional dress, which is much more than just clothing. For the Bhutanese, it's a symbol of identity and respect. Men wear the go, a knee-length robe tied at the waist, and women don the kira, an ankle-length dress paired with a jacket known as the tego. The patterns and colors are not random, but hold cultural significance, reflecting the wearer's status and region. Now imagine the sound of a monastery bell echoing across a serene valley. That's the call of Buddhism, the spiritual backbone of Bhutan. From majestic dzongs, or fortresses that serve as both administrative centers and monasteries, to the humble prayer flags fluttering in the wind, Buddhism permeates every corner of Bhutanese life. It's not just a religion here, it's a philosophy that guides their perception of life and nature. Speaking of nature, the Bhutanese hold it in the highest esteem. They believe that every mountain, river and tree has a spirit, and thus they strive to live in harmony with them. This reverence for nature has led Bhutan to be the world's only carbon negative country, a testament to their commitment to environmental preservation. Let's not forget about the colorful Bhutanese festivals, or Tshetus, renowned for their vibrancy and joy. These festivals are a delightful explosion of color, music and dance, where locals gather to watch mask dances, enjoy traditional music, and receive blessings. It's a cultural feast that truly showcases the Bhutanese spirit. And what's a culture without its sports? The Bhutanese love archery. It's not just their national sport, but a significant social event. Archery competitions are lively, filled with cheer, laughter, and good-natured rivalries, reflecting the communal spirit of the Bhutanese people. In Bhutan, culture is not just heritage, it's a way of living. It's a fascinating blend of tradition, spirituality, and respect for nature that makes Bhutan truly unique. Imagine a life where simplicity rules and contentment reigns. Welcome to the Bhutanese lifestyle. In the heart of the Himalayas, the Bhutanese people have made an art of simple living, a life stripped of unnecessary complexities where the focus is on self-sufficiency and a deep connection with nature. Here, the rhythm of life is dictated not by the ticking clock, but by the changing seasons and the rhythm of the natural world. 
A typical day in Bhutan begins with the rising sun. The Bhutanese are early risers, starting their day with chores and agricultural tasks. Their diet predominantly consists of what they grow, with staples like red rice, buckwheat and a variety of vegetables. They are also fond of dairy, especially cheese made from yak milk, known as dachi. This self-sufficient lifestyle, where each meal is a product of their own hard work, brings a unique sense of fulfillment and joy, and it doesn't stop at food. The Bhutanese are conscious about their environment and have adopted eco-friendly practices. They are pioneers in organic farming, and their traditional homes are built using locally sourced materials like timber, stone, and clay. Beyond their physical environment, the Bhutanese place immense value on their mental and spiritual well-being. Mindfulness and meditation are deeply woven into their daily routines. They believe in the Buddhist concept of Lak Sam, loosely translated as compassion and understanding for all beings. This philosophy fosters a strong sense of community, where people live in harmony, helping and supporting each other. In Bhutan, happiness is not pursued, it is lived. It's in the laughter shared over a communal meal, the quiet satisfaction of a day's hard work, the peace found in a meditative moment, and the joy of being part of a close-knit community. They say that the best things in life are free, and the Bhutanese lifestyle is a testament to this. Here wealth is not measured in material possessions but in shared experiences, peace of mind, and the richness of relationships. In Bhutan, a simple life is a fulfilling life. Bhutan's greatest treasure is not its breathtaking landscapes, but its warm and welcoming people. The Bhutanese people are a vibrant tapestry of warmth, kindness, and contentment. With each smile they share, with every traditional song they sing, they embody the spirit of what makes Bhutan the happiest country in the world. One of the most striking aspects of the Bhutanese people is their friendliness. A visitor to Bhutan is met not as a stranger, but as a friend. The locals are always ready with a warm greeting, a helping hand, or a cup of butter tea shared in the comfort of their homes. This friendliness is not a facade, but a genuine manifestation of their deep-rooted contentment and joy. But the warmth of the Bhutanese extends beyond their interactions with visitors. They have a strong sense of community, a bond that weaves every individual into a collective whole. Whether it's a local festival, a community project, or a neighbor in need, the Bhutanese people come together, offering their support and solidarity. This strong sense of community, of being there for one another, is a key element of their happiness. Family plays a pivotal role in the lives of the Bhutanese. Families are close-knit, with multiple generations often living under the same roof. There is a profound respect for elders, a tradition that is ingrained from childhood. Elders are seen as the bearers of wisdom, their experience is a guide for the younger generation. This deep-rooted respect is a testament to the Bhutanese people's commitment to preserving their culture and traditions. The Bhutanese people also have a strong sense of national identity. They take immense pride in their cultural heritage, their unique way of life, and their commitment to gross national happiness over gross national product. This national identity is not just about patriotism, it's about a shared belief in the Bhutanese way of life, a life of simplicity, contentment, and happiness. In Bhutan, people are the heart of happiness. They are the living embodiment of the country's philosophy of gross national happiness. It's their warmth, their kindness, their contentment, and their strong sense of community and national identity that make Bhutan truly the happiest place on earth. Bhutan a country where happiness is a journey, not a destination. In the kingdom of Bhutan, nestled snugly within the Himalayan peaks, the measure of success is not in material wealth, but in gross national happiness. Yes, you heard that right. Bhutan is the only country in the world that measures its progress by the happiness of its people, rather than the size of its economy. It's a philosophy that places the well-being of its citizens above all else. And it's this unique approach that makes Bhutan truly stand out on the global stage. Bhutan's vibrant culture is a living testament to this philosophy. From the colorful festivals that fill the air with music and dance, to the intricate Zong architecture that dots the landscape, 
Bhutan's culture is deeply rooted in Buddhist principles of compassion and contentment. This culture doesn't just survive, it thrives, passed down from generation to generation, a vibrant tapestry of tradition and joy. The Bhutanese lifestyle is a reflection of this cultural richness. It's a simple yet fulfilling life, closely tied to nature and the changing seasons. In the emerald green paddy fields, under the shadow of majestic mountains, the Bhutanese people cultivate not just crops, but happiness. They find joy in the simple pleasures of life, be it a shared meal, a song sung in unison, or a game of archery, the national sport. And the people of Bhutan, they are the heart and soul of this happiest country. Warm, welcoming, and always wearing a smile, the Bhutanese people live their lives in harmony with nature and each other. They value community, compassion, and contentment above all else, embodying the very essence of gross national happiness. In Bhutan, happiness is not just a feeling, but a way of life. It's a place where the journey is as important as the destination. This is Bhutan, the happiest country in the world.